to Heather Boucher as a member of President Biden's Council of Economic Advisors. We got stuff we already spent and are spending, Heather. We got stuff we, we may spend in the future. There's going to be probably a, a push to raise some taxes. What is the best way to do that without um, having adverse unintended consequences on, on economic growth? Well, that's a great place to start the question. I mean, I will say that the money that's going out to communities all across the country right now as a part of the American Rescue Plan, that is addressing, first and foremost, the crisis in front of us, containing the pandemic, making sure that families and businesses and states and local governments have the means that they need to get us through the both the pandemic but also the economic crisis. And, you know, I mean, the next question is, um, you know, uh, where do we go next? I think you're questions about uh, when and how we pay for it are, are, are really important. But I think you got to the crux of it when you asked, you know, what's good for the economy? What we know is that we need a tax system that values work over wealth, that makes sure that everybody pays their fair share, and where we're incentivizing things are going to be good for the economy in the short, medium, and in the long term, not just sort of the quick hits. What would that look like uh, in your view? Uh, in other words, is it, it specifically? It, should we look at capital gains? Uh, should we look at marginal rates? But should we do anything with, with corporate uh, tax rates? Should we do anything with estate taxes? Should we do anything with, with uh, people talk about certain stepped up assets that, that never are subject to taxation if they're passed along to, uh, to, to, the, uh, to someone's heirs instead of themselves? Are, are all those on the table? And, and some of those are not going to be great, theoretically. Uh, for capital formation or, or for maybe even uh, economic growth? Well, here's the thing. Um, you know, the president was very clear during the campaign that he supported a wide array of taxes focused at the top. You know, he made clear time and time again that if you make more than um, if you make more than four hundred thousand dollars a year, that's where we're going to be focused on taxes, not at folks making less than that. And making sure that the corporate side again is fair. Everybody pays their fair share, that there aren't incentives um, to shift profits overseas, that there aren't incentives to outsource jobs. Because here's the thing. Um, our job is to make sure that the economy is focused on delivering what matters to the American people, which is, you know, broadening and strengthening the middle class, making sure that there are good jobs available, and making sure that, you know, the nation's enormous wealth and resources are focused on that goal. Heather, do you think it's okay in terms of overall taxation that, that we should make it even more progressive. Do you think 50 percent or 55 percent, which it is with state taxes for the, the people that you're talking about, do you think that it's okay if that goes up to 70 or 75 percent for a certain subgroup of people when, when you talk about fairness? Is that fair, do you believe? So I'm not going to get into specifics here today because, you know, all of these plans are still emerging. But here's what I can tell you. you know, we live in a country where for decades we've done tax cuts at the top um, in package after package over the past you know, nearly half century now. And what we've seen is that that has not delivered the kind of robust growth or the stronger middle class that we've been promised. So I think it's time to take a step back and make sure that our tax system is fair and that the government has the resources to do the things that are important to the American people. Again, we have to focus on what our goal here is. The goal is to make sure that we're, that we're broadening, strengthening the middle class, that we're rewarding work over rewarding wealth, and that we are really focused on you know, making sure that we have a strong, resilient economy across our society. And so we need to take steps to get from here to there. Hey, Heather, we, we just heard from, from Elon talking about all of these companies that are going to be lobbying for carve-outs. So if the rates go up on corporations overall, they would be still paying a lower rate. We had a study earlier this morning uh, that we were talking about that showed that individuals do the same. There's all kinds of things like individuals who create corporate pass-throughs so that they don't pay the individual rates on the, t on the money that they're making. I mean, why don't we tighten and strengthen, tighten up the existing law, get rid of a lot of the loopholes that exist that are taken advantage of, and then you can have rates that are fair where people are actually paying the advertised rates. I mean, the difference between the effective rate and the, the rate that's there, that to me seems like the inequity because there are either individuals 
or companies that are paying those higher rates and then a whole lot of other people who, who wiggle through on these loopholes? Why don't we tighten that up? That is a great place to start, right? I mean, we do need to make sure that, um, you know, when you talk about loopholes, so often what you're talking about is, you know, like you said, you know, one part of the of industry or one sector of the economy is saying, hey, what I'm doing here is really important and it's valuable to the economy. So tax it at a lower rate. And then, you know, over time, these things kind of, they build up and maybe they aren't economically efficient. Maybe they aren't in the public interest. And that is where we need to be focused, right? So we need to make sure that taxes are fair, that everybody pays their fair share, that there aren't all of these loopholes. And that, you know, if and when we decide that somebody should be paying a lesser rate, it's because what they're doing is really in the public good, that it's really actually quite important and exceptional. Unfortunately, as you just mentioned, things may start out as that, and then they start to encompass more and more and more. And so you have this ridiculous tax code where so few people pay the effective rate, but the people who are paying the effective rate are going to be the ones who are directly punished when you raise rates on them or companies that are doing the same. I mean, that, that to me seems like the height of un unfairness. Like make sure that everybody's paying the rate as advertised. I think that's a great stuff. point. It's very much a good point. And it gets to this value, right? That tax, that the way we structure the tax system needs to be fair and it needs to be focused on the goals that you actually want to achieve. Um, and so I, I, I'm agreeing with you that I think that that is certainly a, a good place to start. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.